waitresses, your wait staff, and you can, uh, you can sign up for next week. Think you'd like to give this a go? Anybody? No? Nobody at all? It's really kind of fun, actually. Um, it is open mic night, which means we have a few comedy virgins to sacrifice, which is always a lot of fun. Comedy is funny in itself, and standing up here and watching somebody sweat for three minutes can be kind of entertaining, too. Um, next folk I, person I'm bringing up is the only man I know who has lost jobs because he didn't have a full beard, and he is the epitome of why we call this open night mic. Open mic night. Ah, oh, the hell with it. It's the indelible Thor. Oh, shit, I'm tripping and I can't get up. Uh, I am Thor. I'm a college graduate. I got my master's in BS from LSD. I went to the all-you-can-learn college buffet. All that means is now I know a little bit about everything, but not everything about anything. So one thing I do know, I'm an herbivore. That's all smoke herb before I'll do anything else. I'm a vegetarian. Any vegetarians out here? I'm not a strict vegetarian, though. I eat meat. I, uh... I remember one time I was having Thanksgiving dinner night, so much turkey and stuffing and potatoes and gravy, and I got full. And the pressure on my stomach so bad I had to undo my belt buckle and my pants and unzip them a little bit. Rolled me a nice big fat joint of some killer green. I started smoking it. Had my feet propped up on the table. And it's true, marijuana makes you paranoid because all of a sudden I felt like I was being watched and I looked around and the people in Wendy's were staring at me. <laughs> all except for these two stupid people, they were over in the corner arguing. I know they were stupid. I, I distinctly heard the woman, she said, I told you not to S-A-Y shit in front of the kids. <laughs> so, uh, uh, does anyone know what a blackout baby is? When there's a blackout, usually about nine months later, there's a rash of babies born. That's what I am. I'm a blackout baby. I'm a different kind of blackout baby, though. You know, my mom, she was a heavy drinker. She drank a lot one night, and she blacked out. There I am. Uh, I wanted to read this book called Catch-22. Has anyone read this? I wanted to read it, but a friend of mine told me, he said, to fully understand this book, you've got to read another book by the same author, and I've been looking for it. Not, print, not in print anymore, and I can't find it anywhere. It really bummed me out. I'll wait on that. <laughs> I went to this really silly bar the other day, and uh, there was a sign on the door. It said, you must have your id ready to enter. I told the guy at the door, I said, man, I don't have anything but this superego, and it's got my mom's picture on it. <laughs> so he let me in. I told you I was born a, a blackout baby. I've got a twin sister. Now, we were womb mates. We, uh, we were in the cervix together. I went to KFC the other day, or, or what I like to call Kentucky Fried Chicken, and uh, there was a black guy behind the counter, and I told him, I said, I want a piece of chicken, a piece of the breast that has the most meat on it. And he says, oh, man, you want the keel. I said, yeah, I'll take some of that, too, but right now I just want a piece of chicken. Well, that's all my time. Thanks a lot. And remember, only you can legalize marijuana. Keep it going. Gatewood Galbraith, former campaign manager.